everyone, this is me, you the creator of Fun and Draw. Welcome to Tutorial Wednesday. As you can see, I have a new weekly schedule and I have a new tutorial every Wednesday. If you want to follow me on my tutorials, check back every Wednesday to see what's new. I also have Fun Fridays. Come back every Friday to see my new fun, exciting challenges and new surprises. Like this coming Fun Friday, I have something special planned for you guys. Check back to see what it is. Today, it'll be Fenadra, Ariana Grande, and Justin Bieber singing together on stage as cute Fenadra chibis. It's such a cute image. I'll show you how to draw them step by step. Today's video is a little longer because I'm going to show you how to draw two of some of your guys' favorite idols so you can learn how to draw two characters today. So first, I'm going to show you how to draw Ariana Grande. I'll draw her right here. And then after, I'll show you how to draw Justin Bieber and they'll be looking at each other singing together. So let's draw... Ariana's face first. She'll be facing the side. So this is how I like to start. I'll start with a little curve like that for part of her forehead. And then underneath, let's draw a little bit of her nose. I'll make it really small and short for a cute look. So it just comes out just a little bit. And then to summarize the mouth, I'll go down just slightly and then I'll go in towards the smile. I'll make her mouth open so it looks like she's singing. So from this little curve, let's draw a little triangular shape for the open mouth. Okay, once we have that, from this bottom part, I want to go across towards the cheek and the bottom part of the face. So it's like a little curve like that. But I won't go too far out because I want to have some nice flowing hair later on. And it's going to cover part of her face, so I'll just stop right around there. Okay, so this is how I like to draw a simplified side view of a face for my Funny Drug characters. And this is very similar to how I started the cute chibi couple in love in my recent love compilation. Okay, so once we have this part of the face, let's get into Ariana's big furniture eye. I'll start with a cheek line like that near the bottom of the face for a cute look. And then from here, let's go up and maybe let's dot the spot right around there so we get the height of the furniture eye. And from this dot, Let's draw a curve coming down towards the cheek line. And then we'll draw another curve facing the other way. Okay. So once we have this rounded triangle for the fun draw eye shape, now I want to get into some of the details. But because of this drawing, I want to put some more mood and emotion into the characters because it's a special scene. So instead of just going right into the next curve for the fun to draw uh, side of the eye, like uh, how I always do, this time I want to close the eye just a little bit on top. So you're going to see a little bit of the eyelid. And right away, I just want to draw part of the lash sticking out. And then it's going to go across the top like that to make it look like the eye is slightly closed. So there's more emotion and expression in the eyes. Okay, so we have this line. And then let's just make this part thick for the lash. I'll go across again. And now let's shade in this area to make it dark and to make it stand out. Okay, I made it a little bit thicker so you can see. There we go. So now we have this beautiful lash. It's kind of closed near the top. And now I can draw the side of the eye like that. Shade it in just like that. There we go. Okay. And for fun, I'll draw one more lash on this side here. So another curved triangle with the shading. Okay. Once we have this done, let's get into the pupil. So she'll be looking towards Justin Bieber on this side. So I'll make the pupil face this way. 
So obviously it's gonna be a little bit covered on the top, which is fine. And then the highlight will also be a little bit covered. So I have the curve like this. And once you have the highlight, let's get in the shading of the furniture eye. So I'll start with a diagonal line and then fill it in. Okay. Let's make that a little bit thicker. And now I just want to draw a few more lines inside the eye to finish the shading. So I have one line, let's draw another line, and then the third line. Aw, oh, so pretty. Okay, so once I have the eye, for fun, I want to draw a little bit of the lash on the other side of the face. Just to indicate that, yes, she does have another side of her face, and also to make this drawing prettier. So we have a little bit of the lash on the other side poking out. All right, now for the eyebrow, I just want to go up a little bit. To emphasize her mood, just draw a little curve like that, and then draw another smaller curve underneath to make the eyebrow look elegant and long. Okay, so we have her face, and now let's get into her cool hair. And she does have little cat ears sticking out, so let's get into those too. So from this line of the forehead, I just want to go up at an angle. Let's curve. Let's make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Curve, and then keep continuing this curve. And I want to go all the way around towards the top part of the head. So like that. Okay, I'll stop right around there. Now, she does have her cat ears, and it's like a headband that goes around her head. So before I continue on with this line into the back of the head, I want to draw a little bit of the headband and then the cat ears on top. So let's draw a line, a curved line, coming from this side. Let's go all the way around and down like that. Okay. So once we have this beginning line for the cat ears headband, now I just want to draw a cute little triangle like that, sticking up. And then let's draw another curve going down. This curve is going to be longer because it has to kind of attach itself to the headband. There. Okay, this piece looks kind of flat to make it look like it has an edge. I just want to draw one more little line like that to add more thickness to the cat ear. And if you want more practice on drawing Ariana with her cute cat ears, you can check out my anime manga Ariana Grande with her cat ears. That's a little bit different. Those ears are a little bit slightly different from the ones I'm drawing, but it'll give you a good idea of how to practice drawing those things. Okay, I have the other ear coming up. And let's just go right back down. There we go. Little line in here for thickness. Okay. Excellent, everyone. Keep going. So we have our cute little ears sticking out. I want to draw a little bit more of the headband first before I move into the hair. There we go. Okay. So now we have the basic top part. Let's go into the back. And then I'll show you how to draw her beautiful ponytail. So let's imagine this line going through the ear and then it's going to wrap itself around the back part of her head as a curve. Okay, so something like that. Now from this line, this line is actually going to become part of her ponytail and I want part of her ponytail to be coming towards the front part of her face for a very nice movement in the hair. So from this line, let's just continue that and turn it into a sweeping ponytail end. So it kind of looks like a big backwards letter S right here. Okay, continue that. And then you can draw a few more of these curved lines to indicate that she has lots of hair now 
at the end of the ponytail. Okay. I'll leave this for now. Let's go up here near the top part of the, of the head. And I want to go into the actual top of the ponytail. It's going to curve up and then go all the way back down and then we can just finish this shape to complete the hairstyle. So go up, curve around, and now let's just make it one long big line and finish her beautiful ponytail. And if you want to draw Ariana Grande from her focus video, she's got a slightly different hairstyle in that video. You can check out my drawing of that as well. So you can practice drawing her in all different kinds of situations. Okay, so we have this beautiful long big shape for the ponytail. Just finish this line here. I want to complete the rest of her hair and then we can get into some of the little hair details. So let's come back towards the front. I want to draw a few little curved lines like that just along her hairline to section off the hair from her face. So using these curved lines, repeat them all along the hairline. You'll notice that they're being pulled back towards the back part of her head into her ponytail. So this is a good way to show movement and direction in the hair. Just draw the lines into the direction of the hair that you want. Okay, so just something like that. Okay, excellent. So we have the basic shapes of the hair done. Let's just go into the rest of the little texture lines and details in the hair. Draw a few little lines here and there just to make it look more like natural hair. Alright, so pretty. Okay, so we have Ariana Grande's head and the hair all done. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a cute little body starting with her top. Now in, the, in this picture she's going to have a really cute top. So I'll draw the curve for her front first, her arm, and then the top going across. This arm will be stretched out. So I have a long line coming down and another line close by to make it look slender. And for the little hand, basically I want to draw the thumb first and then to summarize the fingers I'll draw a little V shape to start and next I'll just break them apart into little fingers so I think that's a really easy way to draw a cartoon hand in just a few easy steps I have another little finger poking out slightly from behind Okay, so once we have the arm, let's go into the body again. I'll draw another curve like that. So now she has a waist. In here, I want to curve. And then on top, I'll draw a little line like that. It looks like two bumps. Okay, so that's how I'm going to draw her top for this picture. Such a cute little top. And then let's leave her belly like that. So maybe she's got a little button belly. Her <laughs> button belly. Belly button in there. Right by where her bottom is going to be. So the bottom part of the outfit looks very fancy. I'm going to summarize it for this tutorial. So first I like to draw a line like that followed by another line and then I want to piece it together like this. Looks like a little triangular shape and these are like little flaps by her side and it kind of wraps around behind her as well but for this tutorial I want to bring these flaps around to the front more so I have this triangular shape 
And to show the folds in the fabric, I just want to draw a little line like that. Just something nice and simple. I'll do the same thing on this side. So she's got this pretty little piece of fabric on this side as well. Show the fold for a soft look. There we go. And then for the actual bottom part of the outfit, I'll just draw a little V like that. Okay. So we have our pretty outfit. Next comes her legs. So let's take this V. I want to draw this leg as a line first. So it's like this long line. This leg will be slightly bent to make this pose look cooler and more varied. So I'll bend the knee and then the leg goes down like that. All right. Now for the outer line of this leg, I want to draw this line. So this is the thigh now, the upper part of the leg. This here goes towards the joint in the knee. And now let's draw another line for the bottom part of the leg. So once you have this long bent rectangular shape for the leg, now we can start to draw her nice high heels. So I'll start with this line here. Let's go down into the shoe. For the toe part of the high heels, let's make a round for a really cute look. So I have a rounded toe area for the high heel. And then the back of the heel would be rounded as well. It'll come out like that. I'll go down now for the heel part. So it's going to be quite tall. Very stylish. And then let's draw the rest of the shoe separated from the heel to make it look like she's got a heel in the back. All right, excellent. So I just made a little shape like that. And now to separate the actual shoe from the foot, let's draw a line like that comes out. And then another line going down. Okay, excellent. So now she has her foot inside a beautiful looking high heel shoe. Okay, so we have one leg done. And then the other leg, very, very similar. So this is how I'm going to draw it. Like that. And then the leg comes down. So you can see this leg is straighter than this one. And then just go down towards the heel and the shoe. So this is the toe part. This is the heel, so the back of the heel. Now have the long part of the heel. And then draw the shoe. Separate it from the foot. Okay. All right, so now we have our cute little pose. So you can tell that this leg is straighter and this is bent and that's why this is this shoe is a little bit higher than this one. So it kind of makes her pose look more interesting. Okay, we're almost done drawing Ariana. Let's get her microphone and then the hand. So right by this mouth here, she's singing a really beautiful song. Let's get a microphone in there as well. Starting with a circle. So I'm going to simplify these things for you guys to follow along. And then for the texture in the microphone, Here's an easy way to add it. Just draw a few lines and then change your angle and draw a few more lines. So that's a easy way to draw a microphone head. For the hand, it's gonna be holding the bottom part of the mic. This is how I'm gonna draw the hand holding something. Here's a thumb right below the circle. Okay, so it's curled. The other fingers will be wrapping around so you're going to see them on this side. This is one finger. I have another one. And then another one. 
Okay, for my fun to draw characters, there are only four fingers. So we have all the fingers in here wrapping around the base of the mic. And then basically, you just want to draw the other part. All right, so once we have her little fingers wrapping around the bottom part of the mic, I drew this in sticking out. And now let's just complete that shape by going up towards the thumb, just like that. Okay, so now it looks like she's holding the microphone and we'll complete the rest of the hand by drawing the little palm right there. And then from this hand, let's draw an arm attaching it to the rest of the body. So I have this line going towards the body, it will bend at the elbow, and then go up towards the shoulder. Okay, so right around there, underneath the head. Let's draw this side. So cute little arm, bent towards the body like that. Okay, excellent. Add some little motion lines to make her look like she's dancing to the music. And we have drawn cute chibi Ariana Grande. Next, let's draw Justin Bieber. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw Justin Bieber and he'll be looking towards Ariana singing on stage with her. So this is how I like to begin. I wanna draw the head right around here. So just like her, let's start with a big curve. Like that. And similar to how I drew the nose and the mouth for her, let's do the same thing for him, but of course he's facing this way. So I'll draw a small little line coming out for the nose. Let's make this a simplified profile view of the head. And then underneath the nose, I'll draw the mouth open. So just like that, there we go. We have this line going in towards the face. Now I want to go down to create the little triangle shape for the open mouth. There we go. So now looks like he's singing along with her. And then I want to draw another line from this bottom part of the mouth. And I just want to go all the way across. Like that. Let's make this a little bit longer. Okay, so that's for the chin and it's going right towards the back part of his head. While we have this, let's get into his big fun draw eye. So on this side, let's draw a curve for the cheek line for him. Just like before, I'll go up. Let's maybe dot the spot right around here so we know the height of the fun draw eye. And then draw a curve, another curve for the basic shape. And again, just like what we did with the kind of like the closed lid at the top here, I want to do the same thing for Justin, of course, without the big stylized lash. But this is how I like to do it. So let's just draw the line going across like that. So this part is going to be covered by the slightly lowered eyelid. Let's get all the feels in this. So let's get him in the mood. He has his closed eye or slightly closed eye. So that really shows the emotion and we're capturing the feelings for this drawing. Let's draw another line to make it a little bit thicker. There we go. Okay, make that dark make that a little bit thicker there we go and then draw the rest of the side of the eye just like that and shade it in case you haven't seen my fun and draw love compilation you can check that out because I know that right now is the time for you guys to start making your own Valentine's cards and I hope that video helps you draw your own pictures for your cards for you know, your parents, your teacher, your classmates, friends. You can also use that video to draw other things for anyone you love all year round. So I hope that video really helps you guys. Okay, so we have this shape for his eye. Now for the pupil, I want him looking towards her. So I'll just draw it facing this way. Oh, that's so sweet. And then we have the highlight just right here plus the shading and the pupil. So just like before, diagonal line. Let's fill it. 
and then the three little lines to complete the shading. So the first one, the second one, and then the third one. Okay. Good job, everyone. So we have his eye all done. Now for the eyebrow. Let's leave a little distance above the eye and draw a curve. I won't make his as slender as hers. I'll make it a little bit thicker. So here I'll come down and then I'll complete the shape. So it kind of looks like a long sideways triangle. Okay, so we have the face and now for his cool hat. So Justin's wearing his hat backwards. Let's draw the hat going up. So I want to leave a little gap between the head and the cap. Now for this line, I want to go all the way up. Let's make a big curve and then go around towards the back part of his head. So let's say let's dot the spot right around here so you kind of get an idea of where I'm going to end. Okay, so let's just go up. Keep going up. Go all the way across. And then towards the back. Okay. I'll make this a little bit longer to make the cap thicker. And then from this line, let's go all the way down towards this point. To make it look like, you know, that's the edge of the cap sitting on his head. Okay, so all the way down here, excellent. So we have the basic shape, and now for the part that sticks out, let's just draw it coming out in the back. Oh, he looks so cool. We have this line here. Let's draw another curved line. And now eventually I want to take this line and go all the way back towards the hat. Okay, so just something like that. There we go. Okay, so that is an easy way of how to draw a character wearing the hat backwards. Okay, so once we have the basic shape of the hat, let's go into the details. I like to draw something near the front part here. I'm drawing these two curves. And now I can draw a little bit of his hair sticking out. Of course, this is a summarized, simplified version. So I have some little curves to indicate that his hair is poking out from this area in the hat. And for the texture lines in the hat, I like to draw these lines. I think these lines really make it look more like a baseball hat. Okay, once we have this, now down here, he's got his hair and then his ear and then a little bit of the hair coming from the back. So this is how I'm going to draw it. Let's start with the side of the head. I want to come down. And his hairstyle in this picture is going to be kind of scruffy and short. So I have these small little pointy areas just to make it look kind of fuzzy. Like that. Okay, so he's got this area of hair. Let's draw a little bit of the ear like this, along with some little details to show the inside part of the ear. Okay, I'll make this hair a little bit longer. There we go. And then for the back part of the hair, basically just take these little pointy bits of hair and just draw it like that. Okay, so once we have this area done, draw a small little short neck because these are my fun to draw people characters they're kind of like chibis and so the neck part and the bodies will be quite short for a cute look so I have the neck I'll draw a curve under it for the t-shirt and after that let's start with his body and then the pose. So I have a little curve coming out. This is part of the back and the shoulder. Okay, I'll curve it down a little bit 
So this is going to be part of the shoulder and then the waist. In this curved area, I want to draw the sleeve of his t-shirt. Let's end it like that. It's a short sleeve t-shirt. From this sleeve, I like to draw his arm coming out. So I have these two lines, and obviously they're a lot thicker than Ariana's arm, so I have more distance between these two lines. Okay, his hand is or his arm is gonna be slightly bent. So let's draw this line going out at this angle. So now I have the bottom part of the arm, the lower arm. Now his hand is gonna be holding his mic. So this is another way to draw a hand holding something. And because of his position, you're gonna see the back part of his hand rather than the front part like Ariana's. So this is how I'll draw the back part. This is part of the thumb. So this part here. Now I wanna draw the back part of the hand. So this part. His fingers are wrapped around, but you can't see the fingers in this position. So you're just gonna see the knuckles and the back part of the hand. Okay, once you have that, now let's draw a little circle for his microphone with some little texture lines in there above the hand. Now to make the microphone look like it's going through the fingers, just draw the base of the mic going through and then it'll stick out a little bit from the bottom part of his hand. Okay, so that's how I would draw it in this position. And this arm has some tattoos. Obviously they're really, really detailed and for this tutorial I'll simplify them so it's easier for you guys to draw. I'm not going to draw anything specific. Basically, I just want to get an essence, an indication of the tattoo design. So I'm just drawing little simple lines, just like that, to summarize the tattoos on his arms. Okay, so we have this arm, and then let's draw the front part of his shirt. It goes down. And then let's draw the where the shirt ends. And before we get into his cool pants, let's draw the other arm like that. So this arm is going to come out and he's going to be reaching towards Ariana like he's trying to connect with her. I think that's a very nice gesture for this drawing. So we have the arm coming out like that. Of course, it's going to be blocked a little bit by the first hand we drew. So let's just draw the hand coming out right around here. Here's a thumb, like that. And then the fingers, really cute short fingers. I have one finger. Here's the other one. And then the third one, just small little cute ones. There we go. Draw a little bit of the palm, like that. Got some lines inside the palm to make it look more like a hand. And then just draw it going back towards his body. Okay, so a lot of it is covered from the other arm. Okay, excellent. So once we have his pose, let's go into the bottom part of the body. I'll show you how to draw his cool pants and his shoes. Starting with this leg. This leg is going to be kind of straight. So I just have this slightly bent long line. Okay, I'll go into this side here. This is going to be the middle part of the pants. I'll draw a line to end it. And then we can begin the leg coming down like that some little wrinkle lines by the knee. I think that's a good touch. 
and then more wrinkles near the ankle where the pants end and they're gonna be kind of wrinkled around the shoe which is coming up soon okay so we have one pant leg to make it look more like jeans or denim you can draw this line with the pocket so that's a nice touch of realism for your drawing if you want the pants to look like denim, denim for example okay so we have the one leg for the other one it's going to be slightly bent so I want to draw it coming down and then bending down so I'll draw a line at an angle make that a little bit longer I'll draw another line very similar all right, because this leg is bent, I want to draw some little wrinkles by the back side and then just draw the line going down and then the other side, just like that. Okay, more wrinkles. Excellent. And now for the shoe. From this point here, let's draw just a really simplified round looking shoe. like that like that for this side very similar just a little round end for the toes and then one line for the sole okay so we have these two idols all singing together let's add some finishing touches to make this drawing complete so I have his motion lines as well let's get some beautiful music notes in there I have a few in here and to show that they're on stage this is a great way I think let's draw a big long curved line it kind of connects them together too and then for some extra flash Let's add some of these spotlights right on the floor. So they're performing. There's music in the air, lots of lights going on, and it's such a nice, pretty moment. There you go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hit that like button if you like what you see. And don't forget to come back this Friday for a new special surprise. I'll see you next time. Learn how to draw in color more beautiful cartoons with my Fun to Draw ebooks and my Fun to Draw apps. They make great gifts for birthdays and holidays. Links are in the video description.